Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you'd already know that the title of tonight's uh, show is actually a question. And the question is, what's the risk? And that question pertains to your plans for the future and how you're going to pay for them. And so asking yourself, what's the risk, is a pretty good idea right now. And that is because you could really have your mind on some sort of business deal or on your career or on your investments or your retirement because there are five planets in the um really hard-working, practical, realistic Earth signs. And four of those planets are going direct right now. And that means they're sort of supercharged and all ready to go. And it starts with Venus, which is in Virgo now. <clears throat> Remember, Virgo also rules your health and your job and your job prospects. And it rules accounting and accountability and details and facts and being extremely well organized. And uh, Virgos are generally very good problem solvers. It also rules modest proposals. So I'm not saying that everything has to be a great big idea, but this is a time when even a small suggestion could bring some sort of success down the road. And so Venus in Virgo is trining Uranus in Taurus. And Uranus and Venus are the two love planets, but Taurus is a fixed financial sign. And Uranus rules volatility and sudden surprising change. And so you have to be a little bit careful and really do ask yourself the question, what's the risk? Because Uranus is in a, a financial sign and that means that either your um, investments or the value of your assets or of something that you want to buy could fluctuate. They could go up or down, and you need to be a little bit careful about that. But those two planets, Uranus and Venus, are trined by three powerhouse planets, and that is Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn, which are all direct in Capricorn. Capricorn rules the 10th house of your career and of your a public reputation in the community. And it rules big business and big government agencies. And it rules time because its ruler is Saturn, which is in the sign. And it also rules rewards earned the hard way over a long period of time. So it rules your retirement plans or your pension plans. So if, depending on what your plans are for the future and how you want to pay for them, you may be already asking yourself, hmm, what's the risk? Well, with those five planets in the earth signs in a powerful grand trine, this is a time when you should be thinking about business or health matters or occupations that involve service to others, such as nursing and teaching and uh, being a public servant like a fireman or a policeman or even a community volunteer or a social worker. All of these occupations that give assistance to others are very well aspected right now. So this is a time when people can be successful over time. In other words, if you've got a plan and you can only take one small step at a time, that's fine because eventually you will achieve your goal. And that's the way earth signs work anyway. They're not too impulsive. They tend to sort of plan carefully and then get right in there and do the work. So if you are willing to work very hard on a plan, that has some sort of long-term reward or payout, you could probably be very successful at that right now. But at the same time, it's very important to ask, what's the risk? And even if you're a small business or you're thinking of starting a business, 
you can do it with a lot of creative thinking and good communication right now because that sun in Libra now is trining the moon in Gemini. And with the lights both trining Aquarius, the sign of the future, it simply means that if you sort of want to get going in a way that promotes growth, then you have to communicate with others and you can certainly do that. And that might involve taking a short trip or taking a short course to update your skills or get a little bit more proficient in something. Or it could involve some sort of partnership or getting good legal advice. But whatever you do along those lines right now simply means that you are going to be able to enhance your future. And so you could be very successful at that as well. But remember, the question is, what's the risk? Well, let's change that around a little bit. And now the question becomes, what is the greatest risk to all of us? And because of the way the planets are in the cardinal signs, the greatest risk to all of us is debt. And that is because <clears throat> Mars is in Aries, it's retrograde, and it is at 23 degrees of Aries right now. And it is squaring Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn in Capricorn. And it is opposing the sun in Libra. Well, these other plants are, apparent, planets are all being trined by other planets. They're well backed up. But Mars is the only planet in a fire sign right now. It doesn't have any backup. And on top of that, Mars in Aries is exactly square Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto is direct though. Mars and Pluto are the rulers of Scorpio. And Scorpio is a fixed financial sign and it rules debt. In fact, it rules financing. It rules credit, debt, taxes, inheritance, insurance proceeds, loans, grants. It rules money coming in from any other source. But the rulers of Scorpio are in very harsh aspect to each other. And so the greatest risk for all of us in one way or another is debt. That's what Scorpio rules and its rulers are sort of in trouble right now. And so this is a time when a new beginning can be canceled because of high debt. Or it can simply be that there can be a legal problem connected to a new beginning and that can cancel it. Remember, the sun in Libra is opposing that Mars in Aries. Or it could simply be that there can be a um, proof of not following a treaty or a truce to the letter or by the letter and because people have been avoiding that or not exactly paying attention to the correct legal terms that too could <clears throat> that too could cancel a new beginning <coughs> excuse me as well and what it means is that it all boils down to the fact that if you have been doing something that is not legitimate you're going to get in trouble now. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because if it isn't legitimate or it isn't legal, you're going to have an awful, awful lot of problems and probably much higher expenses. So I'm sorry for the little <coughs> hiccup in my uh, throat. But what it also means is that you have to be very careful and assess your risk right now. So simply asking what's the risk is a very intelligent question for you to ask right now. And in fact, if the greatest risk is debt, then that is probably where you need to hone in. And probably that's the thing you really need to look at. So what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? <clears throat> well, Aries, this is certainly a time when I don't think you're going to have the upper hand, Aries. Even if you want it, I don't think you're going to get it. And that's because <clears throat> there are so many planets in cardinal signs in harsh aspect to your own. The sun in Libra is opposing Mars in your sign. And that Mars in your sign is not only retrograde, which is a little weaker, but it has no support. There are no planets in the uh, other fire signs. And 
<clears throat> it's you, Aries, that could have a little problem with debt. And the reason why you could have a little problem with debt is because Mars in your sign is exactly squaring Pluto in Capricorn. But that isn't the only planet in Capricorn. Um, Saturn is there and so is Jupiter. So something that affects your career in one way or another is probably going to really affect it right now, Aries. And I would urge you to sort of look for greener pastures while you can, or at least take a trip, or maybe get out of town right now, or start to ask yourself the question, what is the risk? What is the risk of staying where you are? I think it is a big risk to stay where you are. You should try for something new right now, Aries, and keep working at that. But it's you that could have a little bit too much debt right now. And if you don't have debt now, you might be thinking of something wonderful to buy that, that would raise your debt. So you better be careful about that. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is a time that it couldn't be any better for you, Taurus. And the reason why is that your ruler, Venus, is in Virgo, and it is trining your sun, and Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn in Capricorn, which are all direct, are also trining your sun where you have Uranus. You know, Taurus, there is the possibility that something that didn't quite work out before, something that you wanted to get, it may present itself now or in the near future. This is an absolutely wonderful time for you to think about business matters or your investments or your retirement, but also consider the debt level of anything because that's where people can be running into trouble right now. But this is a wonderful time for you, Taurus, and what you need to do is, particularly if you are involved in business, is try to expand a little bit, even if it just means a merger or talking to other people. It's a very uh, good business climate for you, so I hope you take advantage of that. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, oh boy, the sun in Libra is trining the moon in your own sign, Gemini, and that simply means you can certainly attract very nice partners, but you can also attract a very good contract right now. Remember, Libra rules the law and contracts. And it also means that if there has been some sort of treat treaty or truce, the, the legal terms would tend to favor you, Gemini, which is good. So if I were you, I would certainly be out communicating with people. And if you want to expand or, and grow your business, the way to do it is to um, socialize and make more contacts with people and communicate. Your sign rules the public. It also rules advertising. So I hope you decide to sort of put your best foot forward right now, Gemini, while the sun in Libra is backing you up. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is simply a time when I think that you really need, just like Aries, to reconsider what your options are right now. And the reason why is that the sun in Libra is squaring your sun and that Mars in Aries, which is weak and retrograde and, <clears throat> and coming up against forces more powerful than it is, that planet is also squaring your sun. And then Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn in Capricorn, which are now all direct, finally, after 10 months, all three of those are direct, is opposing your sun sign. It isn't that you've really done anything wrong, Cancer, but it is time for you to turn over a new leaf. And the reason why is that business conditions are not what they used to be. But the people that want to survive are going to be asking them that important question, what is the risk? And particularly if it involves debt, people have got to really look that over. You may have to extend your timeline for a certain goal, Cancer, because it may take you a little longer to save the money that you need, or it may take you a little longer to have enough in your retirement fund right now. So I think that you should plan on, on um, <clears throat> not getting everything that you want right now. So the important thing to you is that you don't risk any legal entanglements. Try not to get in trouble with the law right now, Cancer. 
And so what you need to do is be very, very careful and as quiet as you can be. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is a time when I think that, you know, you've been, you've had sort of a great summer, I think, Leo. It doesn't mean everything's been perfect. It hasn't been perfect for it, for anybody. But, oh boy, you had the sun there, you had Mercury in your sign, and now you just had Venus in your sign. It has moved on now. It's in Virgo, but it's right ahead of your sun sign, Leo. And that means that if this, this is probably a good time for you to include your health in some sort of risk assessment, Virgo rules health. And that would be your mental attitude about things as well as your physical health. So this is a time to really pay attention to that, Leo. Mars in Aries is trining your sun, but it's a little bit weaker right now and being severely challenged. So I think you're a little bit more on your own. And I think that if, you know, even though Leos have a very sunny spirit and a sort of a broad outlook on things, this would be a better time for you to sort of pare things down to some sort of modest proposal that could work. In other words, you have to walk before you can run. And so this is a time when you need to gear down a little bit, Leo, and be much more practical about what your goals are and just take them one step at a time. That actually may take you longer to achieve your goal, but you could be even more successful if you do that. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? <clears throat> well, Virgo, Venus is in your sign now, being trying beautifully by Uranus in Taurus and by Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn in Capricorn. And so I think that you may be in a stage of sort of winding something up, Virgo, that has to do with a business matter or an investment deal or your long-term security or a pension plan or certainly your health. Maybe you're wanting to improve that as well. And, you know, I think you have the best intentions right now, Virgo. And you may have been working just little by little over the summer in order to achieve some sort of position by now, by your, your birthday or by this fall. And you could be achieving that right about now, Virgo. I think that you really are going to be more successful than you think. Your sign rules modesty. You always think that you're never good enough, but other people don't think like that. They know that you are very reliable and that's what they treasure about you, that you're never gonna let anybody down, Virgo. And so I think this can be a time of maybe culmination and success, particularly success down the road. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? <clears throat> well, Libra, the sun is in your sign. That's wonderful. Now it's being trined beautifully by the moon in Gemini. And together the lights are also trining the sign of Aquarius, which rules the future. And that simply means Libra, that your future is somewhat at stake right now, but it can be looking pretty good. In other words, there's a lot of potential there, uh, Libra. It doesn't mean that you've necessarily achieved all of this, the success that you're dreaming about, but if you have been out talking to people and advertising and promoting and joining forces and sort of getting the word out about whatever it is you want, you could be getting rewarded for that right about now. And that would certainly favorably affect your future plans. So as long as you're not carrying a lot of debt, I think that you're going to be able to move forward in just the way you want right now, Libra, without too many things stopping you. But just remember, Venus is in Virgo right behind your sun sign, and Virgo rules modesty. So don't bite off more than you can chew, Libra. You know, keep it simple. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? <clears throat> well, Scorpio, this is a time when I think that you can be uh, full of very good ideas and your mind can really be on money because Mercury is in Scorpio right now and is being opposed by that Uranus in Taurus right now. And so it, it can be that costs could suddenly rise or the value of investments could fall or there can be some sudden surprising change in the money in one way or another and so it's very good that you would be asking yourself now Scorpio what's the risk because it's your rulers Mars and Pluto which are in such 
harsh aspect to each other. If you are carrying any debt, Scorpio, it's going to get pretty hard to pay it off in the future. And so you might want to sell a few things. You might want to relieve yourself of a debt burden in one way or another. That would be a very good idea because we don't have to have everything. That's one thing the pandemic has taught us uh, that, you know, there are such things as, as focusing on survival. That's important. And survival is ruled by your sign, Scorpio. So instead of having a broad outlook and, you know, ha wanting to have money for everything, just concentrate on being debt free if you can, because debt could sink anybody right now, as well as countries and large organizations. And that's why we need to be careful. So if you're thinking about that and you're taking steps to allevi alleviate debt, that's the right way to go. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, this is a time when you might almost feel as if somebody has let the wind out of your sails, Sagittarius. And the reason why is that there aren't any planets in the fire signs except that Mars in Aries, which is retrograde right now and weaker. And it's even weaker because it's sort of in a very harsh configuration with a lot of other planets. <clears throat> so I would say that a new beginning can be stopped now, or it can be canceled. Or if somebody wanted to uh, be very aggressive and sort of keep going on something right now and sort of push their point of view, that's not going to work. And so I hope, Sagittarius, that you are not a member of any group that is trying to uh, influence others in a very strident or aggressive way because that would reflect poorly on you. And yours is an intellectual sign. This is a very good time to to think carefully about what's real important to you. And behind the scenes, right behind your sign, is the sign of Scorpio. And that sign is under duress because its rulers are squaring each other. So there may be some uh, debt in your life, Sagittarius, behind the scenes that you need to address. And it could even be debt that nobody else knows about. But you really need to get rid of it if you can, Sagittarius, sort of wipe the slate clean and then go forward. And that means don't spend your money on other things if you've got bills. Pay the bills first. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is a time when you can really be looking forward. Your sign rolls the mountains. You can be feeling as if you've been slowly trying to climb a mountain, and you may actually find yourself pretty close to the top right now, uh, Capricorn, because there are so many planets in the Earth signs, and they're all favorable. Venus in Virgo is trining Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn in your sign, which are all direct. That means you've got a green light to go forward, Capricorn, and nothing is stopping you. And they are also trining Uranus in Taurus. And so I would say that <clears throat> if you have the, I don't, I don't think if you have any debt, it's not anything that's worrying you, I don't think, Capricorn. But of course, it's always good to pay that off. And if you're asking the question, what's the risk? I don't think you're going to get much of an answer right now because I don't think there is too much of a risk that you're facing in any kind of new future project because I think you sort of got your bases covered right now, Capricorn. And you may have the... Um, the ability to go forward at the speed that you choose. In other words, you don't have to do it on somebody else's timetable. You can do it on your own. I'd like to suggest that you hurry up a little bit, Capricorn, because these three good planets, uh, Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn in your sign, which are all being beautifully trined by other planets in Earth signs right now, they won't stay that way. And they will never come back in your lifetime either. They're not going to make it back to Capricorn in your lifetime. And so Jupiter and Saturn are going to leave in the middle of December. So you have just a few months left to make sure that you really are where you want to be as this year ends and a new year begins. And if you have some goals in mind, I don't think there's much risk in you going forward with that right now. In fact, I think it's time that you do that. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Hmm. A 
Aquarius. Boy, are you lucky. You could begin thinking that you really do have a future, and you'd be right about that, Aquarius. And the reason why is that the sun in Libra is trining your sun, and the moon in Gemini is also trining your sun. That's the lights, Aquarius, and they're backing you up right now. You just have to be careful with the money. And the reason why is that your ruler Uranus is in Taurus, and it is squaring your sun sign. And so the problem is, is that suddenly there could be an extra drain on your financial resources. And that's why you need to be a little bit careful and, and try not to overspend and also try not to incur debt right now. It really, people have got to get rid of debt. That's the, that's the greatest risk of all. So um, <clears throat> Aquarius, it looks to me like your future is about to open up and it could open up because new partners are coming into your life or there is some sort of um, compromise or peacemaking going on or it can simply be that more people have heard about you and they're, they're sort of excited and would like to get to know you better, Aquarius. So that can work out well too. So if you're wondering if you're going to make it on something, the answer is yes. I think you are. And the sooner the better, I hope. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, Mercury in Scorpio is trining Neptune in your sign, but that Neptune is retrograde along with Mars in Aries and Uranus in Taurus. So <clears throat> as you go forward right now, Pisces, you, you may think that there's a little holdup because there are things that still haven't been done the right way and that have to be done better uh, for you to really succeed right now. So there's some unfinished business in your life, Pisces, and that means that you got to back up a little bit because they could turn out to be a risk. Maybe not a huge risk like debt is, but still some kind of risk. And so it would be good for you to at least get your finances straightened out, your bills paid, so that you don't have debt as you come into a new year. So um, Pisces, just sort of concentrate on uh, having a real clean slate as we end this year. It has not been a great year for anybody. But on the other hand, there have been some rewards for you, Pisces. And you can always take them with you. Just don't take any big debt with you at the same time. Pay that off. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see the show and read our blog on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.